Hi everybody, welcome back to Daisy and in this video I want to tackle the rather tricky subject of paid community server modding for Daisy community servers. Um, and so this is really for people where you're in the situation where you're not able to code and create a custom server yourself um, and you're considering paying someone else to do it. And so we're really talking about a situation where you want a server where the loot has been changed, so maybe there's more loot, there's less loot, maybe the events have changed, so more or less helicopter crashes, um, and maybe you've got want some custom structures like this castle that I created someone for, for one of my servers as well. Um, and you've made the decision that you're thinking about paying someone to do this. Now, the reason why I wanted to tackle this video is Ash actually contacted me from the Daisy Services um, Discord. And I've known Ash for, for quite a while. And he said, look, I don't suppose you could do like a, a shout out video for me, could you? Because, you know, there's an awful lot of sharks out there who do do modding and people get ripped off and and nasty things happen and money changes hands and people get disappointed and things like that and i was a bit reticent to be honest because you know ash has contributed to my channel you know with donations uh, in the past and will probably do so in the future so do bear that in mind but what hopefully i'm trying to do in this video is give you the tools where you can make decisions yourself and we're going to go through some of these things um, and so what I did was I kind of put a link to his description to his discord in the description below this video And we're going to come more on to that in in the bit But I've made kind of a list of sort of questions you should ask yourself um, Before you start down this path and so I think if you're thinking about starting up a community server I would always say to people have a think about it um, you know, do you really need a community server? Can you and your friends simply just join another one? Because servers need a lot of maintenance in terms of code, um, because Daisy is updating itself all the time. And especially if you then start to have other people coming to your server and you've got something like a Discord, then that can take a lot of moderation as well. So it takes a lot of work. Also, a big one for me is you can learn how to do a lot of this yourself. Um, none of it is rocket science. It can be quite tricky to start off with, but if, for example, you go to my um, files, my repositories, and I'll put links in the description below this video, I do have, for example, boosted loot files, and I do have full instructions on how to use them as well. So although it might seem quite complicated to start off with, once you're used to it, it, it gets easier and easier as well. And really remember that paying someone as well to create a server, it's not just a one-off cost. Because Daisy, as I say, does update itself. So if you don't learn how to do it, you're going to have to keep paying someone to give you, update your files to give you the latest gear and the latest events. And also, you know, even if you find someone who is a perfect fit for what you want to do, there's always going to be a bit of confusion and dispute. So you might not always get exactly what you want. If, however, you really are determined to go down this route, um, I would say treat it as a quick start way to get into community server ownership. So they're going to set up the server for you. They're going to give you your, you know, your custom files. They're going to give you, say, some custom builds if that's what you want, and then use that then stopgap if you like to then learn how to code yourself. So you're not relying on other people um, long time. And then when you're looking at who you should be using spend a lot of time looking at what the people say about that service um the discord's always the best place because often as you'll see with ash's discord he has a place where people can leave you know leave comments and D dm people message them so how did you get on would you recommend this service to someone else and also ask the people who run the service say ash for example in this case you know say well what happens if there's a dispute about something what happens if there's some misunderstandings and make sure you set yourself a budget that's affordable and reasonable because you'll also have the cost of renting your server and make sure when you do start the process of creating your server with the service make sure before you start you have a comprehensive to-do list and when you make your to-do list for your server write it down like a to-do list i want more guns i want more food write it all down 
review it, leave it for a day or two, and read it again and edit it. Because once you've given that document to someone to start working on, it's very frustrating for them and time-consuming to change things if you change their mind. And what often happens with these services, someone will come back and say, okay, this is going to cost this much. Do you want to go ahead with it? And remember, only release the money when you are completely happy with what's going to happen. So the way that it kind of works with Ash's um, Discord, and I'll put a link in the description below this video. If you, if you go over there, always click on the reviews and, you know, just go through and read the stuff and DM these people and say, how did you get on? You know, would you recommend this to someone else? And what you do is you create a ticket. Um, and you can create a couple of different types of tickets. You can create an XML or JSON ticket. So this is for setting up a server um, or creating some custom loot files. Maybe you want you want um, files with more loot, you want files with less loot. But he also does custom Discord setup as well. So if you want to set up a Discord where there's sort of trader money and that kind of thing. And he does things like traders as well. You know, if you want a custom trader setting up um, um, something like that. And that will then start the process of you tell them what you need and they will come back with a cost of how much that will be. Um, and I've been you know, chatting quite a lot with Ash and the people who've used his service, service as well. I've been DMing them all saying, what do you think? And everything seems to be coming back very positive. Is uh, that sort of to set up a simple server, you're probably looking at about you know, 50 pounds GB. Um, I don't know, that's probably is that about $80, is it? Something like that, US. And then if you want something like a trader on there as well, it go up to like about £100, probably about $130 um, US that way. Um, so bear all this in mind. Include that budget in with you know what your monthly budget will be. And as I say, use this as a jumping off point for you to get started to have those custom files. So at that point, you can then start to learn how all, how it all works. So going you know, going forward, you can then um, do it yourself because you know you know even Ash says look you know when there is an update, if you want him to update your files, there will be a small charge for for doing for doing that. You know, say twenty pounds something like that, um, and say for things like. Um, a simple structure like that castle I did, you know, a simple version of that would probably be between twenty and thirty pounds for for stuff like that. So, you know, a couple of hours of work, um, and so always bear that in mind. So you'll find a link to Ash's Daisy Service Discord in the description below this video. I'm not recommending him because obviously I've never used his service. All I've done is really had a long chat with him, and I've had lots of chats with the people who have paid him money and his team to pay money to do stuff. And it's probably a good way, a good place to start. But as I say, once you've done that, look at my files, um, look at the various discords that are available where you can learn, and there's lots of stuff online and you can learn how to do stuff. So long term, you're, you're not um, dependent on a paid service and you can move towards a free service too. So there we go. Hopefully this has been useful. If it has been, hit like. If you want to see more of the same, press subscribe. And of course, I'll see you again soon.